Hey what's going on everybody, Jason here, and welcome back to another Vanguard Zombies video. Today I will be playing Terra Maledicta for the first time. This is the brand new map in Vanguard Zombies that was added in Season 2, so I think without further ado, let's jump right into this. I really hope Terra Maledicta is a much better experience than Duran Fong, let me tell you guys. It looks like it's going to be a better experience, a more complete experience, which is what I'm really, really hoping for. So with that said, I guess I'll see you guys in the game. Ooh, hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, look at this. Out of the deep freeze into the sandstorm. Must something Von List, oh, uh, separate maybe that says Von List from Cortifex? What is going on here? Okay, what do we use? What do we use? You know what? I'm going to use the STG. Why the heck not? Alright. Ooh. Ooh. One locked in a void spell. What, the one from Shinonuma? Ooh, I like this new starting area, actually. Yeah, I actually really like this new starting area. Oh, a little bit of lag, but alright. Whoa. Okay. Just melee some zombies there. So we have the new objective here, Sacrifice, which is kind of cool. Oh, also, I need a shovel, because they were saying uh, you can you can pick up a shovel and you can dig up some dig sites and whatnot. So where do I get the shovel? Where do I get the shovel? Is it in an objective? Is it uh, is it over here somewhere? Hello, Mr. Shovel. Mr. Shovel, where are you? What is this? Uh, oh, is that the Xfil stone? I think I think that might be the Xfil stone. But this is a really cool starting area. I, I really like this one a lot more than Stalingrad, actually. Uh, but okay, I guess we gotta pick a direction, right? And I guess what we'll do is we'll go the direction of the brand new objective. So why not? Let's go. All right, sacrifice. Brand new objective. Looks like we got some temples or something to explore. Ooh, what is that? What is that? I don't know what that is. We got some kind of magic going on on top of that crystal. Ooh! Look at this abomination here. Okay, so we gotta kill the zombies before it gets to this thing. Oh, Siphon Core, that's what it's called. Yeah, okay, sure, why the heck not? Okay. So, I mean, this is kind of interesting. It's basically like the defend objective from Cold War is what this is reminding me of. Looks like we gotta defend this thing for two minutes? Oh my gosh. Wow, we gotta defend this thing for two minutes, guys. I just noticed that my STG only has uh, <laughs> only has 20 in the magazine here. I didn't quite remember what uh, I didn't quite remember what attachments I had on here. But it looks like the siphon core moves around. Oh hey, look, perk. All right, we got Venomous Vigor. <clears throat> it looks like we're outside the uh, the starting area from where we are, so... Honestly, I like the design of this map a lot more than Duran Fong. I think it looks a lot better, too. Oh, hello. Wait, get back here. Hey, get back here. What are you doing? Oh, I see what's going on. So the Siphon Core is going to try to absorb the zombie, and we just, we just stop it like that. Okay. This is an interesting objective. It's kind of weird that it's already two minutes, uh, only on round one, but you know what? That's that's fine, I guess. We'll live with it. We'll live with it. We got objective B over here. Siphon core over here. Interesting. I mean, this is a pretty big map, too. It looks like it just keeps going on for, for quite a while here, so it looks like there might be more objectives for us to complete to actually unlock multiple areas uh, as opposed to Duran Fong where it seemed like the objectives only unlocked one main part of the map. I don't know. My first instinct of seeing this is maybe there's more than meets the eye. Oh. 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 Yep. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Let's grab this double points. Let's hit some zombies. And uh, another new objective found. Oh, so we're going back to A. Okay. I wonder if I just let the Siphon Core absorb the zombies. Will it turn into the Purge objective, where in the Purge objective you just kill all the zombies and then you get teleported back? I don't know. I feel like that would be the case. Which might make this objective go a little bit quicker, actually. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. We're almost done with this anyways. I know my face cam is kind of covering up the time. 
But uh, that's all right for now. We'll just we'll just deal with what we have here. All right, just a couple more zombies to kill here. A few more seconds. We will say I'm getting a lot of kills. Getting a lot of kills for some good weapon XP. I will say that. And all right, objective complete. Not bad. Ooh, look at this. Oh. Okay, this thing spits out some salvage and some equipment and stuff. I got a shotgun. I like it. I like that, actually. Ooh, here we go. Hang on a second. Fiendish Fortitude is in this room, too, huh? Huh. Okay. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, here we go. Where are we going next? Oh, hello. Ah, uh, so here's the crafting table. Here's the Altar of Covenants. Let's get some cryo freeze. You can never go wrong with that. And let's go explore the new area over here. Oh boy. Get out of my way, zombies. Get out of my way. Alright, so over here we have a purge objective. To the left we have a sacrifice. Uh, oh, is that the shield? Oh! Oh! How do we get that? Oh! Oh, okay. So we know where the shield is located. We gotta free it from the magical spell here. Unless the crystal contaminating this area have locked it in place. Oh, hang on. Do we shoot these crystals? Oh, okay, Verkana. They're currently unbreakable. How do we break them? Are you gonna tell us? This what do we can have the desert? Wrong hand. Hmm. Okay, so how do we weaken those crystals then? How do we weaken those crystals? I assume it's not these big red ones here. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this map just keeps going on and on and on. So if we continue to do our duties, like Kraft said, will it unlock the next part? for us to do to break the crystals? I think that might be the case. I think that actually might be the case here, guys. Okay. Let's see, what's over here, first of all? Well, we have the sacrifice objective again. I kinda don't feel like doing that right now. Kinda don't feel like doing another one of those right now. I think I'll head over to Purge. Yeah, I'll go ahead and head over to Purge real quick. And uh, let's see what happens here. But yeah, so far, already a pretty big improvement, I would say. Already a pretty big improvement on Duran Fong, just from the little bit I've played so far, because the area seems to be more expansive, more exploratory, and there's, like, actual story, there's actual intrigue to this that I am fairly interested in, actually. So let's go uh, do this purge objective. Let's go ahead and disable the augmenters and things like that. And then we'll see. Maybe we have to do a certain amount of objectives to free the shield. Or not free the shield, because we gotta, ooh, hello. Uh, but not free the shield, but um, you know what you know what I'm saying, guys. We gotta get the crystals activated, right? Or shot. Oh my gosh, my words. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, but let's capture these runes and get the hell out of here quick. Let's get the hell out of here quick. But yeah, so far, this is definitely the best looking map in the game so far here. Matera Maledicta. Okay, let's go up here. Very nice, very nice. Uh-oh, zombies, wait a minute. I wasn't done reloading yet. Alright. Yeah, I really like the dynamics of all the crystals infecting the uh, the normal world. The Dark Aethers, like, spilling over. Really, really like that dynamic. I liked it in Black Ops Cold War, and now I like it here on Terra Maledicta. There we go. Okay. Just a couple more runes here. Just a couple more runes and we're done. Da, 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 da. Oh, a little bit of lag there. I see that hasn't gone away, unfortunately. Ooh, ethereal haste. Very nice. Yeah, that's kind of the one thing about Vanguard Zombies that is really unfortunate. Is that, you know, there's still, there's still that lag even when you play on solo. And it really kind of puts a damper on things sometimes because you're having a good time and then you realize, oh, wait a minute. Right, some things aren't entirely polished. But you know what? I'm still having a good time. I am still having a good time, actually. But here we go. We're done with the purge objective. 
And uh, I guess let's go ahead and head back to... I guess we can't call it Stalingrad anymore, obviously. What do we call it? I mean, in the blog post, they called it the Beachhead. So maybe we'll call it the Beachhead. Maybe we'll just call it the Beachhead and call it a day. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Where are we here? We're back at the Altar of Covenants. Let's see what else we can get. Ooh, Coal the Weak. That's a good covenant to pair with Cryo Freeze for sure. That is a good, good covenant to pair with Cryo Freeze. Okay, Vercana, Seedling Slows. I've seen enough. You're indeed worthy of Decimator. Ooh! Ooh, we're worthy of the Decimator. Hang on a second. We gotta go back. Hang on. There's a speaking stone near, near the green fountain. Find it. We may discuss our next steps. Okay, the green fountain. So what's that gonna be? That's, uh, that's, uh, Demonic Frenzy. That's Speed Cola. Where is that? Ooh, we gotta, we gotta go over there. We gotta, we gotta get our objective here from Vercana. Is it over here? Oh no, this is where the other thing was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's Venomous Vigor. Okay, so we gotta find Speed Cola now. Okay, yeah, this is blocked off. Yeah, I like how exploratory this is. I, I really like this atmosphere, actually. <clears throat> I feel like there's definitely a purpose to these areas instead. Oh my god, look at all the zombies. I feel like there's actually purpose to these areas. Instead of, you know, oh, you got this random building here in Duran Fong. I feel like there's purpose here. I feel like there's a lot of purpose. Okay, uh, where's the mystery box? Mystery box is over here, right? Mystery box is somewhere over here, right? Here's the box. Okay, let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can get. <laughs> I already have a combat shotgun. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Actually, what I should have done was pack-a-punched. I should have pack-a-punched to see what the pack camel looked like on this map. Let's kill a few zombies and let's pack. Kill a few zombies, let's pack. Let's pack the STG because obviously the combat shotgun's pretty good right now and I think it can still hold its own. But let's pack the STG and see how the STG does. And of course, you know, check out the camo. Alright, come on, just another couple zombies here. There we go, okay, let's pack a punch. Let's go ahead and pack a punch here. Ooh. Ooh, it kind of looks like, like cracked flesh. Ooh. That's kind of interesting. Oh, the game's lagging a bit. <laughs> right after I pack a punch, but uh... Yeah, can I tell which perk is which direction here? I need to go to the green fountain. Nah, screw it, let's do this blitz. I could be completely wrong in saying the green fountain is over there, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. If it's not over there, then I guess we just go the other way. And then we'll know for next time, because if we got to go to the green fountain to get our orders from Verkana to get the shield, then we'll know to go that one direction every time. So that'll be good. That'll be good. Ooh! Oh ho! Here we are in the dark either, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, this looks awesome. Whoa, that looks so cool. I feel like you can access that area. Yeah, it looks like you can, but we're oh, we're restricted by the blitz. No. Oh, dude, this looks cool as hell. Damn, I don't care what you guys think about Vanguard Zombies. At the end of the day, this game does look really nice. Especially this map looks really nice. I really like this Dark Aether Arena. This is really cool. Okay. So I got some ammo over there. That's nice to see. Man, now we just got to survive the splits objective here and we'll be good to go. And hopefully the green fountain is over in that direction. I'm really hoping it is. Because I want to see if I can get the decimator on my first playthrough here. I'm not going to keep this first playthrough too long, however, though. I think I am going to exfil um, and when it starts to get kind of repetitive and it starts to get kind of... Uh, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but when it starts to get... When it starts to get... I guess repetitive. I don't know what else to say. Uh, or let me just simplify it this way. I'll exfil when I feel like I have to exfil. How about that? I'll exfil when I feel like I have to exfil. When I feel like it's right in the video to do so. Like, we get the shield, we use the shield for a little bit, uh, we do another couple objectives, we explore the map a little bit more, and then, you know, maybe we do a little bit of an exfil to see what that's like on this map and see where the portal spawns in. 
Because before, what I really liked about Cold War and my first attempts on Cold War was I really liked X-Filling because I got to see where x -fill was and I got to see the helicopter and the landing area, which I thought it was really cool. So now on this map, we'll get to see where the, uh, the X-Fill portal is located. But there we go, guys. We're done with our, uh, what you call it there, Blitz. We're turning to Eastern Desert. Okay, so that's what the area is called. Okay, so it's not called beachhead or whatever it's called eastern desert so okay we gotta we're going back there but yeah look at these wow i mean this looks awesome that looks so cool actually dang <laughs> dang you guys are doing really good with this map here Treyarch. very nice very nice okay let's see what else here what else do we have here well the world grows harder of course uh, let's go ahead and head over here. Deadshot's a good covenant. And let's see if uh, the green fountain is over here. Hello? Hello? Uh, uh oh, boom shriers, okay. Oh boy. Uh huh. Ooh. I mean, I know this probably isn't anything, but. <laughs> I saw a floating fire there. I thought that was something interesting. Uh, okay. It doesn't look like what I'm looking for is here. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess it's not here. So, what, okay, I see what this map is making us do now. We have the first area, and then we have the second area that's going to unlock the perks for us. So... Up the hill, I think, here might be what we're looking for. So, I guess let's do another blitz. Let's do another blitz here and see where that leads us here. We're already on round four, which, you know, we're rolling right along here. Um, also, I need to use my salvage on some armor. I haven't bought any armor yet. Uh, but, oh, hello. Where are we here? Oh, we're literally right back to where we were. Huh. Okay, very interesting. Very, very interesting. This could make for a pretty decent blitz arena, actually. Not going to lie. Hmm. All right. But once again, we survive another couple minutes locked in here. Yeah. Got some crystals and all that. I mean, it's it's a pretty basic map, but already it's better than Duran Fong, I think. Because, like I said earlier, it feels like this map has direction. It feels like this map knows where it's going. The whole goal is to do the Decimator Shield and, you know, obviously do the Easter Egg in the story and what, what that entails. Uh, but it really feels like this map has more of a clear direction, which is exactly what Duran Fong needed. And I'm having, I'm having a better time with this map than I am Duran Fong, for sure. But we'll see what happens in the story I'm very interested to see what happens on the story front because Vanguard Zombies I've said this multiple times I've said this on the podcast I've said this multiple times Vanguard Zombies if even if you guys don't like the gameplay you don't like the core you know roots of the game which I know a lot of people really don't like I think we can all agree that Vanguard Zombies at least has the lore going for it I think this lore can really help us build more story and build more well lore like i said about the dark either storyline because obviously we have a bunch of new characters we have a bunch of new plot threads we have a bunch of new stuff going on and this game can really help us kind of connect the dots in a way to why this game is important and why this game comes before vanguard or comes before vanguard this is vanguard why this game comes before black ops cold war and perhaps even establish something that we need to know for Treyarch's sequel to Black Ops Cold War. So maybe it's a very important thing that we know about Verkana and Cortifex and Nordicus and all these characters and Dark Aether entities. I, I, I think there's definitely a reason for this. I think there's definitely a whole reason for this. And that's made very clear, in my opinion. But, all right, we're almost done with this objective once again. And then we can head up the hill and see what we're if what we're looking for is over there. We got a lot of points now, too. We got a lot of points now, too. Gotta go check the Altar of Covenants. Gotta go upgrade Ring of Fire. A lot of stuff we gotta do. A lot of stuff we gotta do here. Maybe we'll hit the box. Who knows? Get a ray gun. That'd be cool. 
That'd be pretty cool for our first attempt of Terra Maledict to get the ray gun. Which, the ray gun, honestly, I don't know. It's kind of mediocre in this game. It's not terrible. It's not the greatest thing ever. It's just kind of there. <laughs> you know, I don't know. It seems, it's kind of weird. But, uh... Nah, I'm good. Let's go upgrade Ring of Fire. Where's the book? Oh, it's right here in the corner. Blind. Uh, okay, there we go. Let's upgrade Ring of Fire. And let's go see what is up the hill over here. Hopefully, again, what we're looking for is over here. Hopefully, what we're looking for is over here. Because that would suck if it's not. <laughs> that would suck if it's not. Let's see. Mm, okay, here's Ethereal Haste. No, I think I went the wrong way. I mean, how am I supposed to know, right? <laughs> how the hell am I supposed to know I went the wrong way? Oh, boy. Yeah, we definitely went the wrong way. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, armor and a Panzer Shrek. A pack bunch Panzer Shrek. I might blow myself up, but let's just have fun. <laughs> let's just have fun. What do we have here now? Itra Burst, huh? I don't know, actually. Is the Itra Burst any good? Is the Itra Burst any good? Pack a punch in this game. Maybe I'll try that out. Maybe I'll try that out. Let's have some fun. The Fury of Seraxis. Hmm. Seems decent enough right now. But yeah, we definitely went the wrong way. Definitely went the wrong way. Uh, this was the area we did our purge objective earlier. So we have to go the other way. Near where the uh, transmit objective is. So... Yeah, we definitely went the wrong way. But let's go to the crafting table real quick before we do some of these objectives. And let's get some armor. There we go. And let's see, do we do harvest or transmit? I don't know. I'm getting a feeling that transmit might be the one we do. I don't know why. It's my instinct. My instinct is telling me we have to go do the transmit objective to access where we want to go. So why the hell not? Let's go. We need help from the Dark Isa. Which, hey, Transmit and Duron Fong worked. We got Verkana to come to our aid. So, hey, maybe we'll get Frenzied Guard or Toxic Growth to come to our aid next. You know what I'm saying? Oh, here we go. Green Fountain. Here we go. Okay, so where is this at, technically? Because we're here in the Eastern Desert. <clears throat> where do we go? What direction from here? What direction from here? The orb is just gonna do its little thing here. Hmm, guys, I think my I think I think my gut got it wrong. <laughs> I think my gut got it wrong. I think we were supposed to go to the other uh the other objective portal. I don't know. I don't I don't know actually. Cause this doesn't look like the area where we activated the portal. But who knows, maybe where we activated loops around this area. I don't know. That's the thing. I really don't know. Now, this Itra Burst actually isn't too bad right now. Oh, max ammo. No. Ah, I missed it. Rip the max ammo. But Okay, objective complete. So, okay, let's see where this is. Yeah, this is right outside of spawn. Ah, this is right outside of spawn. I literally went everywhere else except for the place I needed to go where Verkana told me to go. But you know what? That's okay, because we're exploring the map. We are exploring the map, and we are learning. We are learning how to traverse this map. Which is a good thing, because it seems like exploration is very encouraged in this, in this map. So that's good as well. Uh, let's check this. Ooh. Artifact Ward. You know what? Let's try Artifact Ward with Ring of Fire. I don't know how that's going to go, but let's do it. Let's do it. I don't know how that's going to go. Just the Ring of Fire activates and everything burns to death behind me. I guess that's how it would work. Uh, but let's go this way. Let's go this way. Any last requests? Oh, this, lo oh, this loops me back over to this area. Oh. Well... You know what? That's okay. That's okay, guys. We explored the whole map, basically, now. 
We explored the whole map basically now. So, I guess I can't complain. I guess I can't complain. Let's do the sacrifice objective. Let's head over to the green fountain. <laughs> Let's do what we're actually supposed to do here. Let's do what we're actually supposed to do here for the decimator. Okay. Here we go. But yeah, like I said, guys, I'm definitely having a lot more fun with this map than I am Duron Fong. I think this is definitely much better so far. Ooh. Oh, this is the Hall of Truth. This is that other new area. Wow. This is cool. This is cool. Actually, you know what this is? This is the final campaign mission, if I'm not mistaken. This is right at the end where all the characters are going through. I think this is what that is. Oh, no. The thing's absorbing zombies. No, it absorbed two already. Okay, hang on. Wait a minute. No, reload your gun. Reload your gun. Da, 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 da. Okay. All right, we got this. We got this. We can stop the siphon core. Oh, next siphon core found over there. Oh, I can't jump down? Wait, am I not allowed to go down? Am I not allowed to go down? Oh, God. Wait a minute. Gammon bomb. All right. But, yeah, it looks like... I don't know. It looks like you should be able to go down to that area. Maybe I'm wrong, <laughs> but it, it looks like you should be able to go downstairs. I don't know, because, I mean, that just looks, t it looks too playable. Oh, Jason, go down the frickin' stairs. Duh. Go down the frickin' stairs, and then you'll be able to go downstairs. <laughs> yeah, here's the other siphon core. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now we got the burrow camo there for the STG. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's Zabala. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, boy. Wait a minute. Where'd she go? Immune. Oh, she's down. She's down. Wait a minute. No. Oh, God. Oh, no. The siphon core is going to win. Oh, the Siphon Core won. Oh, no. Oh, no, wait, no. Wait, what? What happened? I'm trying to shoot Zabala here between the masks. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God. Wow. Okay, this went from 0 to 100 real quick. This went from 0 to 100 real freaking quick here. And it looks like this Siphon Core saved the energy from the other time it absorbed the zombies, too. Okay, Zabala's not dead yet, I don't think. I don't think Zabala's dead yet. Where, where'd she go? Ah, oh, oh, she's attacking me. Oh, there she is, there she is. Immune. How is she immune? I mean, we're about to complete the objective. Huh, Zabala seems like a bit of a bullet sponge here. Not gonna lie. Either that or just my single pack bunched weapons aren't gonna be enough to take her out. I don't really know. Damn. Okay. Okay. Um. Really? 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 That's how my first attempt ends. I get booted off. Because of game instability. <sighs> wow. I'm actually so disappointed. I'm actually so freaking disappointed. I was just about to go get the shield. I was just about to go get the shield. I was about to go over to the green fountain, listen to the listening stone. Ah, uh, All right. Well, hey. I will say, I did have a much better time on Terra Maledicta than I have the last few times of Duran Fong. I'll tell you the guys that much. But, uh, that was just such a disappointing way to go out. That That is such a disappointing way to go out. But, anyways, guys, 
that's it for the video. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. What do you guys think of Terra Maledicta? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. And with that said, thank you all so much for watching. And if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more, leave a like and subscribe if you're a brand new viewer. And check out all the links down below in the description so you stay up to date with everything that I do. And with that said, have a fantastic rest of your day or night, depending on where you are in this crazy world. And I'll see you guys next time.